Welcome to this short tutorial on how to create smart groups in EndNote X8. You will be familiar of how to create ordinary groups, which is within a set. So, for example, demo, you click on the set and you create a group. Now, beneath create group, we have create smart groups. These are really fun to use and uh, since I've learned how to use them, I wouldn't be without them. First of all, you click on Create Smart Group and you can give your smart group a name. You might want to give it something meaningful, um, such as some of the keywords that you are actually um, entering into the group. So I'm going to call this Information Science. And then you have here a dialog box of the keywords that you want to populate because what smart groups do it looks for anything within your library with keywords and deposits those records straight into the group so anything new that you um, enter uh, anything new that you find you'll also it will automatically put into your smart group so I don't want to author I'm going to um, go with keywords and the first one I'm going to do is um, library research I think Okay. And I'm going to also keywords, I'm going to do um, an or here because I want library research or science or again keyword information literacy. Usual Boolean um, um, logic. So if I had the and, it would have to contain both library research and information science and information literacy. But by using the or, it's looking for any of those records. So then all I do is click on create. And what it does, it automatically creates the information science smart group with 19 records automatically populated. And this is as simple as that. So if I add anything new to this, it will um, add further records. OK, so just put them in order. As you can see, those are the varied ones. And if I click on any of them, you can actually see that they are all about information literacy or library skills. Um, there we go.